we ask for your questions about the Wuhan virus, and here are the most common. Where did the virus come from? The first cases were in Wuhan, a city of about 11 million people. It is a major transport and logistics hub in China. Many of the early cases were linked to this seafood and animal market in Wuhan, uh, which suggests that a likely source of this Wuhan virus might have been an animal. A concentration of the cases at the moment are in the Hubei province, where Wuhan is at. Did the Wuhan virus originate from bats? Research from Peking University suggests that the Wuhan virus might have come from snakes. What we don't know is whether snakes can be infected by the new coronavirus. Um, since the outbreak, the seafood and animal market has been shut down and disinfected, which means it's very difficult for us to find the source animal. What are the symptoms of the Wuhan virus? You can get fever, runny nose, sore throat, cough or shortness of breath. You know, the Ministry of Health say it's all the same symptoms as normal pneumonia. How does the Wuhan virus spread? So human to human transmission is confirmed, so the CDC tells us, but we do not know how or how easily it is spread from one person to another. It's usually spread when you come in close contact with an infected person, that is about two meters from an infected person over a period of 30 minutes or more. You also ask what is the incubation period? So the data from the early cases in China suggests that the incubation period is about 14 days. Who is at risk of becoming infected with the Wuhan virus? Of the initial cases, many of them were over the age of 40. Of those who died, many of them had underlying health conditions such as cardiovascular disease or diabetes. It doesn't mean young people cannot get infected. Some of the cases are in otherwise healthy and young people. So you ask what type of mask should I use to protect myself from the virus? MOH says that masks are not generally needed if you are well. But if you are unwell, use a surgical mask instead of an N95 mask. The surgical mask can help block large particle droplets and splatter. It can also reduce exposure of your saliva or your secretions such as phlegm or mucus. The N95 masks are not recommended by MOH as they are designed in a way that makes it difficult for you to breathe in if they are worn properly. Does it help to wash your hands? Yes, please wash your hands. Health authority says you should wash the back of your hands, between your fingers, under your nails. Make sure you're scrubbing for at least 20 seconds. Now, if you haven't washed your hands, don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth. And if you're going to cough or sneeze, use a tissue or your sleeve, but don't cough into your hands. Can the Wuhan virus be killed by alcohol? The CDC says you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if you can't get to soap or water. Likewise, you can use alcohol, for instance, isopropyl 70% or ethyl alcohol 70% to disinfect surfaces. You can also use bleach. Is there a cure for the Wuhan virus? No, there's no cure for the Wuhan virus. There's no specific treatment for the virus. At the moment, patients get medical care to relieve their symptoms. Is there a vaccine for the Wuhan virus? Again, there is no vaccine for the Wuhan virus. It is a newly identified virus and it means it can take a number of years for a new vaccine to be developed. What do I do if I have cough and runny nose and have recently travelled overseas? If you have recently travelled overseas and you've come back with symptoms like a fever, runny nose, cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, go and see a doctor and make sure you do it promptly. MOH says before you go and see a doctor, make sure you wear a mask and call the clinic. Someone asked, I suspect I was at the same place as a confirmed Wuhan virus patient. What should I do? It's a good question. If you're in Singapore, authorities are currently conducting contact tracing for anyone who's come in close contact with an infected person. So if that's you, you will hear for MOH. Now, if you've come in close contact with an infected person, you will be placed in quarantine for 14 days. If you're at low risk of becoming infected, you'll come under active surveillance from MOH. And that means you'll be contacted daily so that they can monitor your health status. In the meantime, if you're not feeling well, go and look for a doctor. Now, am I at risk of catching the virus from packages shipped from China? According to the CDC, coronaviruses don't survive well on surfaces, which means there's a very low risk of spread from your products or packages that have come from China. That's because many of them will have been shipped over days, sometimes weeks, at ambient temperatures. Can animals get infected? While we know that this virus may have come from an animal source, it is now spreading from person to person. The CDC tells us that we should avoid live or dead animals if you're traveling to China, but there's no reason to think that animals or pets anywhere else are a source of infection. 
Now, is the Wuhan virus similar to SARS or MERS? The new coronavirus is not the same as SARS or MERS, but it's more genetically related to SARS than MERS, so says the CDC. Now, we don't know for sure if the virus will behave the same way as SARS or MERS. What we do know is that we can take information from those outbreaks to tackle the Wuhan virus. Someone asked, will China begin to regulate its meat markets to prevent the consumption of wild animals? Now, China has temporarily banned the, the trading and the transport of wildlife across the country until, in its words, the epidemic situation is lifted nationwide. So that means there will be no trading of wildlife in markets or supermarkets, restaurants or online. There's a hotline for people to call if they spot any instances of trading. Uh, China has also promised to step up inspections. So in the meantime, this ban will be in place while China grapples with the situation.